Are you one of those people who love spending your evenings on board ship in the theater watching a great show? Maybe you've even gone so far as to plan your cruise around the entertainment available on a specific ship. Well, that's not normally me, but this may have changed my mind. Ahoy travelers, it's Amy with Cruising from the Ozarks here with another video to help you make your vacation a success. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It only takes a second and doing so helps cruisers like you find us. One of the things that I was looking forward to on our recent Norwegian cruise was their Broadway shows. Now, if you're a channel regular, you're gonna know that we're not lured into the ship theaters by most production shows, but I was looking forward to the fact that NCL has Broadway musicals instead of the musical variety shows that we've been used to on Carnival. Mom and I actually love watching old Hollywood musicals on TCM, but getting to see off-Broadway productions in actual theaters is something I've only done a few times in my life. Norwegian provided us with an opportunity that we don't normally get. There's just not a lot of high-end theater in the Ozarks. For the most part, we would have to drive almost four hours to get to a city that regularly has popular Broadway-style shows. And while we did choose to forego seeing the other production available during our cruise, Burn the Floor, we made sure to go see Six the Musical. Now, I am a huge fan of anything to do with the history of the British monarchy and the Tudors in particular. So a musical about the six wives of Henry VIII definitely piqued my interest. I was not going to miss out on seeing it. I went into the show blind, knowing only that it was about Henry VIII's wives. I wanted to be surprised, and I was. Several of us were actually joking around while we were waiting in the line outside the theater, and we started singing the old Herman Hermit song, I'm Henry VIII I am. Look, I'm sure you know it. I'm Henry VIII I am, Henry VIII I am, I am. I mean, can't sing that song without the over-the-top accent. Anyway, there's definitely something special about cruisers who will just burst into song together, just a bunch of strangers outside of a theater. It was fun, and it's part of why I love cruising. Cruisers are just a unique group of people, and it doesn't take much to have people just get along, no matter what they would be like outside on land, their politics, their religion, Anything like that is gone, and you're just people that enjoy cruising. The show was nothing like I had imagined, but I still really enjoyed it. I knew it wasn't going to be anything like I was expecting when the curtains rose and the wives were not dressed in period pieces. I mean, I am so used to watching period piece dramas on television, and so this was so unexpected. If you came here for a summary of the show, I'm not going to spoil the surprise for anyone wanting to watch Six the Musical. But suffice it to say that you are not going to get any period drama from Six. But instead, you should look forward to a modern interpretation of what each of Henry's wives went through. Divorced, beheaded, died, divorced, beheaded, survived. I thought the show was fun with a unique concept but I would have enjoyed it much more if I could have actually understood what the cast was saying. I honestly couldn't catch about a quarter of what was said or sung, and the lady next to me was complaining about it from the get-go, so I know it wasn't just me. Part of the problem was that some of the songs were very fast, making lyrics sung in a higher register almost impossible to decipher, and this was made even worse with the volume being as loud as it was in the theater. I actually have some thoughts on this based on my own sound experience. And sharing my experiences, especially when it comes to cruising, is why I started this channel. I love researching everything to do with cruising and sharing that knowledge with you. If you've been watching our channel for a while, enjoy our videos, and find that you're learning something, why don't you consider subscribing? Subscribing just bookmarks our channel so you can find it easily. So you're going to make sure that you ring that notification bell and that way you don't miss any future posts as well. 
As someone who has run sound once a week for decades at our church, I think a few tweaks would have helped a lot. My guess is that those running the sound for Six the Musical know all the words to the songs. They've sat through practice after pr practice and all these productions. So their brains are filling in the gaps where anyone new to the lyrics might have problems fully understanding. Because of this, the sound crew just doesn't recognize that there's an issue. And this is something that can be a problem in large venues when it's so important to push the volume to as loud as possible. Now, I believe it's probably going to be especially likely to occur in the case of female singers because they're singing in that higher octave. Singing that high makes the words harder to understand to begin with, and then you add on the speed of the lyrics to how loud the sound is being pumped into that theater, and it's just a perfect recipe for audience issues with being able to comprehend all the lyrics. It was really unfortunate because the majority of the cast was talented. I hated that much of the audience had trouble understanding the musical like they should have. And I hope that this was either a one-time problem or that it's been fixed since our cruise. I know it was definitely something I made sure to mention on my cruise survey. I went into some detail about why I thought the problem occurred as well, just like I did on this video. Have you had the privilege of seeing Six the Musical? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love it if you would stick around and watch this next video. Then come back next week for another video designed to help you have an amazing cruise. Have a blessed week, everyone.